Hi everybody, I'm meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Let's go through the European model because there's a, a bit of a change here in terms of what the this one is this model is doing, and basically, uh, and it's an important difference. Uh, we uh, here we are Saturday morning with an intensifying low pressure inland in North Carolina, high pressure draped all around it, good inflow coming in from off the ocean. Here's your upper low. It's sitting in the bright blue, but watch what happens 24 hours later. That upper low just pretty much moves straight east northeast, taking the surface low in that direction with it. Now, this is decidedly different from uh, some prior runs because it was, you know, it's trying to show the main low hanging back near the coast and attempting to redevelop further east that would pin precip back and try to push it up a little bit further to the north uh, what tonight's run has done is basically shifted that area a bit further to the south now let's look at the implications i'm going to switch over to the snow map here and you can take a look at what it does now the yellow is uh six to nine inches and it has six to nine across all of Long Island. And in fact, when you get closer to New York, uh, Nassau County into New York City, it has nine to 12. But look how, how sharp the, the dividing line is between where the northern fringe of the six inch line is. And then suddenly you go up into the Hudson Valley, somewhere uh, between uh, eight, uh, Route eight, uh, 287 and, and Route 84. And there's the green and that's the northern edge of three and go a little further north uh, to maybe just north of route 84 and there's the leading edge of one inch and you notice in northwest new jersey in in the corner of sussex county it gives uh, less than an inch meanwhile in the other direction when we go south and west uh, across new jersey if you cut this the entire southern half of the state is in 12 inches plus and that continues down south toward Philadelphia into southeastern PA. And, of course, you have the big amounts, which it has been doing for a long time, uh, back through Maryland and down through uh, into Virginia, where it's got these, you know, 20 and 30 inch plus amounts. I mean, who knows how the top side is, but, you know, the idea is, is correct here in terms of the, they're going to get major snowfalls in this area. But the big problem is <clears throat> the upper low uh, and this model which we know uh, does better overall uh, is telling us now that the upper low is going to just get kicked out and move the way to the east and we're done uh, so the question is because we've been going through this now for uh, the last few days uh, pushes north pushes south uh, and you can see how the change is so important with just a matter of miles now I will say that once now that we're getting <clears throat> into the short range period here, um, sometimes these global models tend to be a little less reliable and we start to rely on, on some of the more short term models. Um, I'm probably I am probably going to leave my forecast alone. What I might do is maybe just adjust the northern fringe a little bit, but I'm not so sure yet if I'm even going to do that. So, you know, for the time being, I'm, I'm just going to leave what I have uh, the way it is. Um, oddly enough, when you look at the precip that's produced, the liquid precip, it does produce over one inch of liquid for Long Island and back to New York City. And if that were all snow, uh, that would probably be um, a foot. I just, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to understand, unless it's the, the model's trying to show some mixing issues, I'm not sure. For some of the coastal locations but um I, I'm, I'm not sure why it would produce over an inch of liquid over long island if it's all snow that would be you know a, t a 10 to 12 inch snowfall but you know this is always part of the game that we play here uh for for winter for snow and winter lovers i'm sure in this area you would have liked to have seen it do uh, do the what the nam did which was to push uh, the northern area up to about here and extend the area of one foot plus so, snows over a larger area and then produce even bigger amounts south and west and who knows um so it is a disappointment from that respect um 
but you can see when you can't when you have a structure like this on um, the upper air where where you look at this upper low which is pretty intense and you if it was pinned into the coast yesterday remember if I showed you that <clears throat> the upper low position was kind of clustered here and holding and that would have put us in 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 good precip for a, a, a fairly long period of time but the European tonight is not showing that and it just occurred to me I, I never even looked at the Canadian so let's take a look here together I'm gonna look at it with you for the first time and uh, you can see the Canadians upper low is north and west of the um, the European now remember the European is a superior model it's not infallible so I mean it could be seeing something and reacting to something that's correct or uh, perhaps not um, I mean the odds probably favor that it is correct uh, but I'm gonna switch over to, to see what exactly exactly it, it, the Canadian did and the Canadian takes the low see the Canadian see how the Canadian pins it back the Canadian is like the NAM in a sense is it pins back that low near Chesapeake Bay and you can see how the northern edge of the snow goes much further north and you've got this band of heavy snow um, let me just check the time frame this is for Saturday evening across Long Island New York City uh, New Jersey south of Route 80 and back, then back down into Southwest Jersey and then you get some wraparound snow uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning um, and even Sunday morning <clears throat> the uh, Canadian still has some snow on the back edge so I'll just look at its snow amounts um, you know the Canadian is not really the most reliable of models it tends to go its own way on a, for a lot of things but it's still keeping you know a good band of six inch plus snows into southern Connecticut um, and up into the lower Hudson Valley uh, into northwest New Jersey lesser amounts in the northwest corner and he prints out that 18 inch amount I'll try and get a little closer here for you hang on let's see here we go we'll get to that and you get a little bit of a closer picture and yeah okay so you can you can see where the six inch line is basically right here on the Canadian model and you know the orange would probably represent the brighter yellows and orange you're talking about you know one foot snows maybe into western Suffolk County Nassau County back to New York City and then you can see the larger amounts that occur over New Jersey and of course the big amounts that are down uh, in in southeastern Pennsylvania and over back through Maryland and Virginia so you know what the bottom line is the next run I mean we just keep doing this you know one of the disadvantages of having all these models and all these model runs is that it just never seems to end and we never seem to get there and we get these you know these these long duration events in terms of trying to forecast them it was, it was better in the day when it only went out to 96 hours or 120 hours because after that you had to guess and there was no way to really make a, a good educated guess without a tool to work with so you just didn't really worry about it until you got inside the time frame so uh, just to review um, the question is is the European correct with this idea you know and that actually you know what we could look at too you know to answer my question in terms of the precipitation of that it generates um, what it does and I'll take a look and see <clears throat> we'll look at the, the temperatures aloft and you can see how cold it is the European never gets it above the zero so it's all cold enough aloft for snow so I, I, I don't see why it produces an inch plus of liquid for Long Island but yet only produces about on the snow map it only somehow works out to eight, nine inch eight, eight or nine inches of snow so you know what? We toss to the next run, and uh, we will talk about this more in the morning.